Hey homegirls, welcome to my channel. Today I am participating in a collab with my friend Natalie from Design to the Nines. We have put together a playlist and there will be people playing along for our Christmas ornament challenge. Now if you don't already know, all through the month of November I am partnering up with friends to give you double, triple, or even more of the Christmas ideas. Let's go ahead and get started. Now keep in mind the majority of my supplies will be coming from the Dollar Tree and if you see something that is not from the Dollar Tree I will try to mention it in the video. Otherwise leave a comment down below and I'll let you know where it's from. These are the supplies we're going to be using for our very first ornament, which is going to be a farmhouse candy cane. Now, the Dollar Tree carries this rope and I love it. When I discover if you untwist it, it thins out the thickness of the rope and one piece is perfect for the consistency of wrapping around these candy canes that you can also pick up there. So I went over the end and kind of frayed out that rope just a little bit to cover it put a line of hot glue and then just started wrapping around your candy cane. Now beware, you're working with hot glue, you're gonna actually see me burn my finger in just a second. I put my finger right in it, duh Heidi. <laughs> but I know we all have those moments, so just be careful when you're working with the hot glue. Once you get to the end, you're going to put some hot glue right on the tip of it and again, work really carefully and cautiously. See how I twist it all the way into a circle and then I'm going to snip it off, put down some hot glue, make sure it's not too hot and then press that rope right into place. To decorate this candy cane and to make it look a little more special, I took these berries that were on a floral stem and I just pulled off what I didn't need so I can get a little bit more coverage for hot glue. I put down a piece of greenery that I got from the Twist Greenery Ties that they also sell at the Dollar Tree. And then I just glued in the berries which made it look so adorable. Then to finish the look I decided to tie on some ribbon and I just think this looks so pretty. Now this ribbon didn't come from the Dollar Tree, but they have a lot of Christmas ribbon options there. I also decided to add a button for my button collection. Can you tell that I like collecting them? With a little bit of hot glue and a button on it, it completes the look. Up next, we're going to work on a yarn snowflake. The reason why I love doing these is because you can make your snowflakes much bigger in size and the design, you can do whatever you want with popsicle sticks. So I decided to go with a really simple pattern just to show you how to do them. I took five popsicle sticks and brought them into the center at a star point and then took some little pieces that I just snipped with my scissors and glued them down. Now it's better to glue both sides because as you can see it's a little bit weak when you only glue one side so I flipped it over, made sure all of the pieces if they're loose are in place and then I'm going to take two more pieces of trimmed popsicle sticks and glue them on and now it's going to be really sturdy and ready for you to put yarn all over it. I also wanted to add some little flurries at the top of the popsicle sticks so it looks even more like a snowflake because as of right now it just looks like a star. And then you'll notice that I put one popsicle little flurry stem on one side and then I went on the underside. That way so it doesn't get too bulky on one side and it just works better that way. After you've gotten all that done, you're going to take your yarn and then you're just going to start wrapping your snowflake. Now this is kind of brainless doing this, so this is a good thing to do while you're watching a movie. You wrap a whole bunch of sections, put some hot glue, wrap a little bit more, put some more hot glue, and you're just doing this so that it's nice and secure and it has a nice finished look when you're done and things aren't moving or shifting on you over time. When you start to get up to the top of the snowflake, you're just going to want to slow down a little bit to make sure you get the ends covered nicely. But overall, I just think this looks so cool once it's all finished. 
Then when you get to the end of one snowflake stem, you're just going to go back down the snowflake and then work your way out to the next stem. And when you're all done, this is the completed look. Up next, we're gonna do more of a glam ornament for my glam girls out there. You're gonna take pearls from the Dollar Tree. They have different sizes there and some wire. I used two strands of wire and how I strung on my beads was really simple. First, I went with the wires together, pulled on a small bead. Then I opened them up and put on a big bead on one wire put the wires back together and put on a small bead again. Doing this allows the beads to lock into place without them shifting around once you put it inside of your ornament. And it just looks so pretty and elegant. You can see here that the bigger beads are holding in place because of those small beads. Then when you're all done stringing your beads, you're gonna go ahead and take your wire and you're gonna put that right inside of your clear ornament. I think this is so elegant and pretty and it's just the simplest thing to do and it's really fun to string these beads. Once you get everything all stuffed inside, you're gonna take your cap to your ornament, put that back on and let's glam it up just a little bit more. So I took some Mod Podge just because I like it. I put it all over the ornament top and I'm now going to sprinkle glitter all over it. So first I did a sugar glitter, making sure that I lightly dusted it. And then I decided to go back and add some more of this Mod Podge all over the top of the ornament so it looks like frost had just settled all over it. Once I got the sugar glitter on, I went back in with a thicker, coarser glitter that I love. I picked this glitter up from Target. I just think it is so pretty. They have a lot of different colors in this thicker, coarse glitter. And then I also used it to rub around a little bit on the sides. Then to make it a little more elegant, I took a thin white ribbon that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. I did not tie it. I just simply wrapped it around, used some hot glue and popped that right into place. And I repeated that process twice so that there were four strands coming down. Then I took the lace ribbon that they have at the Dollar Tree, tied a bow and hot glued that on. And yes, after everyone's request, there is going to be a bow video coming soon. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button, friends, so that you don't miss any other videos that are coming up this month. Up next is a rustic farmhouse ornament. We're going to be using painter sticks, red ribbon, and green paint. Taking a miter saw and a miter saw box, you're going to go ahead and trim down your painter sticks to four inches long. And then with some green paint and a paintbrush, you're just going to make little lines just like this and paint on a tree. This is such an easy thing to do and you do not have to be an artist to make this happen. Then once that green paint is dried, you're going to take some puffy paints and you are going to create a star at the top. Now I am not the greatest at freehanding stars, so I just did the pencil line star where you go from one point to another following without picking up your pencil. And then I also added little red dots with puffy paints as well. I wanted to dress it up just a little bit and make it look more rustic, so I took some twine and I hot glued that onto the back for the top of the ornament to hang up. And then I took some of this Merry Christmas ribbon, which I just love it. I love that they're carrying it. I just think it's so pretty with the foil detail of the words on it and hot glued that at the top. Continuing on and wanting to make it look really pretty, I took a leaf from that berry garland that I used earlier and I just hot glued that onto the back. And they have these really cool glitter ball 
accent embellishments I don't know what I would call it but I just really love these they have these in gold silver and red and I clustered them all together to make it look like a holly berry which I just think it looks so pretty The last ornament we're going to be doing today is a traditional farmhouse ornament. We are taking their large Christmas balls that they have at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take some drop cloth. You can use any kind of fabric so if you don't want to go so farmhouse you can pick up some other type of fabric but I just thought it would look so pretty doing this drop cloth tan fabric and it's super simple to do this ornament. You're just going to take a string of hot glue run it over the ornament, rub it down in place, snip it off at the top where the stem of the ornament is, and then you're just gonna continue going all the way around until you've completely covered your ornament. Now I will say, before I did the hot glue, I tried it with Mod Podge, and friends, don't do that. <laughs> it was so messy. Hot glue is so much easier to do, so it is truly a Pinterest fail if you try to use Mod Podge with drop cloth. I just think it looks kind of dingy and old. I really liked the version with the hot glue instead. So once you've got your drop cloth covered all over your ornament, you're going to then take some leftover of that rope that we used earlier and you're just going to wrap around that gold part at the very top, the stem of the ornament. You're just going to go around and conceal that gold a little bit because it just looks really pretty like this. And then I'm going to take the Mod Podge again and I am going to add a little bit to two leaves to create a little greenery at the top of this ornament. So I use every bit of these flowers. I even use the wire sometimes when I need them. Don't ever throw away your supplies because there's always something you can make out of them. I just am going to rub this Mod Podge all over the ornament, add some glitter to it, and then it just makes it look like frost had settled on these leaves. Simply add some hot glue and stick your leaves on. And notice how I'm turning down the leaves a little bit so that they're not sticking out funny. When you do that, it allows it to crease over and then it just looks so beautiful as if it's naturally on a branch. And then using some more of those little glitter balls that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I put a dollop of hot glue, added on about six or seven of them, and then repeated that two more times to create that berry look. They are a little tricky to work with, so if you do have craft tweezers, I would recommend that because it would keep you from burning your finger. But if you don't, you can just use your fingers like I'm using here. Then because I'm crazy about this ribbon, you don't have to add it, but I just love the way it looked, so I went ahead and added two strips of this ribbon and notice that I cut them, notice that I cut them at a dovetail cut at the bottom and the top which is going to allow them to sit nicely at the top and look really pretty at the bottom. Thanks so much for watching this video today and if you participated in the playlist, thank you so much as well to those friends. I cannot wait to watch all of your videos and to see the DIYs that you did for your Christmas tree with your ornaments. Leave a comment down below to let me know which ornament you liked most and until the next video, bye homegirls!